हेलो एवरीवन मेटल्स आर एक्सट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम देयर ओर्स यूजिंग अ प्रोसेस दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन देयर रिएक्टिविटी सीरीज पोजीशन डिफरेंट टेक्निक्स फॉर एक्सट्रैक्टिंग मेटल्स फ्रॉम देयर ओर्स आर यूज्ड डिपेंडिंग ऑन देयर रिएक्टिविटीज टेक अ क्लोजर लुक एट द मेटल्स इन द सेंटर ऑफ द रिएक्टिविटी सीरीज दे हैव अ मॉडरेट रिएक्टिविटी जिंक लेड आयन एंड अदर मेटल्स आर एग्जांपल्स these metals are generally present in nature as sulfide and carbonate ores did you know that sulfide or carbonate ores are always converted to the oxides of metal as it is always easier to extract a metal from its oxide than from its sulfide or carbonate ore hence before carrying out reduction these metal ores have to be converted to metal oxides the conversion of concentrated ore into the metal oxide is done by either calcination or roasting what are these processes and how different are they from one another let us explore the process one by one calcination is a process in which ore is heated strongly in absence of air whereas Roasting is a process in which ore is heated strongly in the presence or supply of air. Generally, calcination is used to convert carbonate ore to metal oxide, whereas roasting is used to convert sulfide ore to metal oxide. For example, calamine ore. Calamine is a carbonate ore of zinc that is zinc carbonate. Zinc carbonate can be converted to its oxide by heating strongly in the absence of air. So, on heating in the absence of air, it decomposes to form zinc oxide and carbon dioxide. Whereas the sulfide ore of zinc, that is zinc blend, converts to zinc oxide and sulfur dioxide when strongly heated in the presence of air. Look carefully. both the processes result in the formation of metal oxide the metal oxides thus obtained are converted to the free metal by using reducing agents like carbon aluminum sodium or calcium the use of a reducing agent depends on the chemical reactivity of the metal which is to be extracted so obtaining metals from their compound is done by the process of reduction zinc metal is extracted from its oxide by reducing it with carbon or coke sometimes a more reactive metal is also used to induce the reduction of metal oxides like aluminum is used to reduce manganese from manganese oxide This reaction is a displacement reaction between aluminum and manganese oxide. It is also a highly exothermic reaction. Similarly, Fe three oxide is reduced to Fe in presence of aluminum. Here, magnesium ribbon is used to ignite the mixture. Aluminum reduces iron oxide to produce iron metal with the evolution of a lot of heat. Due to this. and metal is produced in a molten state this reaction of reduction of a metal oxide with aluminum to form metal is called the thermite process or the thermite reaction the reduction reaction of iron with aluminum is also used extensively for welding metals and is then termed as the thermite welding process it is largely used for welding railway tracks is the same process used to extract the metals that lie low in the reactivity series let's take two less reactive metals mercury and copper mercury can be extracted from its sulfide ore namely cinnabar or hgs whereas copper is extracted from its sulfide ore copper glands or cu2s or cuprous sulfide or cu1 sulfide So first froth flotation method is used to concentrate the sulfide ores after the concentration of the ore extraction of these metals involves two steps step 1 is roasting 
in this step the concentrated ore is roasted or heated strongly in the air mercuric sulfide is oxidized to mercuric oxide or hgo whereas cuprous sulfide is oxidized to cuprous oxide or cu2o in step number 2 the mercury 2 oxide is reduced to mercury by strongly heating to a temperature of 300 degrees celsius when it decomposes or reduces to form mercury metal while in the case of copper when a good amount of copper one sulfide ore has been converted into copper one oxide then the supply of air for roasting is stopped in the absence of air copper one oxide formed above reacts with the remaining copper one sulfide to form copper metal and sulfur dioxide but what about metals with high reactivity to know the answer to this question join us in next module let us now quickly summarize what we have learned in this module sulfide or carbonate ores are always converted to first oxide ores the conversion of concentrated ore into the metal oxide is done by either calcination or roasting calcination is a process in which ore is heated strongly in the absence of air roasting is a process in which ore is heated strongly in the presence or supply of air calcination is used to convert carbonate ore to metal oxide whereas roasting is used to convert sulfide ore to metal oxide the reduction method is used to obtain metals from their oxide ores the metal oxides thus obtained are converted to the free metal by using reducing agents like carbon aluminum sodium or calcium 